used to make with my grandma when I was younger. Meatloaf. Every time I make this dish, I think about all the wonderful memories I spent in the kitchen with my grandma. From preparing, to eating, to talking about the dish and making new recipes. I love making this dish. It's very simple and let's get started. Before we begin, let's make sure that everything is clean, from our countertops to our hands. What you need for this recipe is a pound and a half of ground beef, half a cup of sweet onion, three-fourths of a cup of milk, ketchup, more ketchup, barbecue, or shire sauce, mustard, salt, pepper, garlic powder, an egg, and three slices of bread in cubes. The first thing we're going to do is grab a room temperature three-fourths of a cup of milk and pour it over our cubes of bread. and we're just going to let it soak. In a different bowl, you're going to grab it and pour the one-fourth of a cup of ketchup. And then, you're going to pour all the onion. Now that all the onion is inside, we're going to grab the Worcestershire sauce and pour it. Then we're going to pour the mustard and the salt, the, gar uh, the garlic seasoning, and the pepper. Now we're going to mix all this together. I could have poured it into the meat, but I don't like just pouring everything. What if like one side of it has more salt and the other one doesn't. And we're gonna set it aside. In a different bowl, we're gonna whisk the, lightly, the egg lightly. Grab our meat and pour the ketchup, the onion, and the mustard mixture. We're gonna pour everything in to the meat. Then we're gonna pour in our soaked bread. This is how it ended up after being soaked. Very soft. And the last thing we're gonna pour in is the egg that we whisked together. We're gonna mix it lightly until everything is thoroughly combined. Now we're gonna put our meat into our pan. But first, I put two slices of white bread at the bottom of a pan. It's a trick my grandma taught me when I was younger for the moisture and for it to be nice and gooey when you bite into it. Be careful not to pack it too tight. This is how it looks. Now we're gonna mix our sauces together for the top of the meat. It's barbecue and ketchup. We pour both sauces in here, and now we just have to mix them together. Now we're going to pour them over it. Grab a little brush, and we're just going to put it all over the meat. Everything covered evenly. We pour the sauce, and this is how it looks. Now let's take it to the oven. We're going to put in the meatloaf into the oven at 350 degrees for an hour to an hour and 15. Now we just have to wait. We love eating our meatloaf with potatoes, so to accompany our dish, we're going to make potatoes. What we need for this recipe is four medium potatoes, a stick of butter, parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, water, some herbs, and breadcrumbs. First thing we're going to do is peel our potatoes. Now that the potatoes are all peeled, what we're going to do is make slices, but not all the way through. We want them to fan out. This is how our potatoes are supposed to end. They're supposed to fan out, all the, not all the way through, just like this. Okay, so we put our four potatoes, which are cut and ready to use, in this pan. The first thing we're going to do is put a lot of salt. We're going to try to fan them out and just put salt in all four of them. 
Okay, now we're gonna put some pepper. And to finish it off, we're gonna put the stick of butter. We cut it in four. So we have a little stick. We put it in the middle. And there we go. And then now the four tablespoons of water, we're gonna pour them here. So while they're cooking, they have moisture. And now all we have left is to wait. The potatoes have been in the oven for an hour. We took them out to put some toppings in and then we're gonna put them back into the oven for 45 minutes to let them finish cooking. Here we have some breadcrumbs, some Parmesan cheese, and some herbs. First, we're gonna mix the Parmesan cheese with the breadcrumbs. Then, we're gonna grab the herbs and put half a teaspoon in. Then we're gonna mix everything together. We're gonna pour this over our potatoes, just like this. We're gonna grab a little bit and just pour it. Not too much, not too little. Over all of them, so they'll be nice and crunchy when you bite, bite into them. Into the ridges, into everything. Now back to the oven for 45 minutes. We took both out of the oven and now we're ready to serve them. So here it is, the final dish. Here we have the potato, the meatloaf, and some mixed vegetables. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it, and I hope you consider it. Signing off from my kitchen, Emily Rivas.